Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a small, extremely lightweight travel trailer that is perfect for medium-sized families or bigger. This is a 2023 Coachman Northern Spirit 2146BHX. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Coachman and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited that we are taking a look at the Coachman Spirit. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good guys, I'm so excited to take a look at this. This is a smaller, um, bit, this is a smaller bunkhouse travel trailer. Yes. And it's made by Coachman. Coachman does some stuff that I really like, and uh, I'm excited to show everybody. Well, so am I. Let's begin. All right. Model is 2146BHX. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 27 feet 1 inch. The dry weight's 4,880 pounds. The hitch weight is 728 pounds. Now, Will, this is a Northern Spirit XTR. Okay. Take a look at it next to a Northern Spirit Ultralight. Right. They are both Northern Spirits, but they're both two completely separate, different things. Right. I mean, you can really see a side-by-side -side visual difference on both For of them. For sure, yeah. XTR is supposed to be extremely lightweight. Power tongue jack here from Lippert. Propane tanks go here. Your battery goes there with your spare tire, spare tire carrier. This is fiberglass sides with aluminum framing. Fantastic. You got your diamond plate rock guard there, and I love that front windshield. I do too. All right, down here, we do have passenger storage. Nice. Very nice, manual stabilizing jacks. And then right here, we do have a very nice power awning. Look at that. Going the whole length of the travel trailer. I love that. <clears throat> very nice power awning with LED lights. Right here, even though this is a smaller travel trailer or a lower travel trailer, they're still giving you the solid step. Yes. Love that. Nice big grab handle here. Illumicates construction with Asdel. Asdel is a composite material and it will never delaminate on you. There you go. Speakers on the outside there. Cable hookup. Uh, power if you want to have TV on the outside. And then look at these tires. Well, they're Castle Rocks. I love those. ST205. Dash 75R14 with your Dexter axle right there. Right over here, Will, you do have a very nice little outside kitchen. Cool. Oh, oh what was that? Damn, I thought it was coming off. Oh. oh, it's just magnetic on one side. Right there, we have a nice little fridge. Okay. Okay. Right here, you got a little sink to plumb through. And then here, a nice little capital grill. Very nice. Little cooktop that sink there. is not plumbed through. Oh my goodness, a sink that's not plumbed through. I can't believe I said that. And then right here, well, we have a place, place to leash up your furry friend. Okay. Coming around the back, we have a nice bumper that stores your stinky slinky. Prep for the Voyager backup camera, and then check this out, Will. Oh uh -oh. no. You got your keys on you? No, I left them on the golf cart. But we will take a look at this door from the inside. Okay. Man, I didn't even check that door. All right. Finishing up. Right over here, here's where we dump our black and gray tanks right there. Okay. Right here's another place for you to leash up. You have a black tank flush. I love how they made it an orange ring right there. City water connection, spray port here. And then right here, 30 amp service. You can connect it right there. Power on the outside. And then right here uh, is a water heater. Cool. Very nice. And then right over here, Will, here's your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. And then the other side of that storage. Very nice. Well, Will, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. All right. Take a look at the inside. All right. All right, super small trailer. Up front, you got the bedroom. Then in the middle, you have your dining area and kitchen. In the back on the left side, you have the bunks. And on the right, you have the bathroom. Where do you want to start today? Well, super small trailer. Yep. Super small advertisement today. Guys, Jen, pull up my phone right here. Whoops. Guys, join the Lipper Scouts. It's available on iOS and Android. It is the best app for the RVing community. If you are an RV enthusiast and you love helping out other RVers, 
joined the best group created by the biggest supplier to the RV industry, that's right. Lippert. They believe in using business for better, and that's why they've created the Scouts program. And let me tell you, do you know how much money Lippert makes on the Scouts program? Oh, it's a loss. Huge. Huge loss. But they do it to enhance the RV community, guys. Yeah. Um, well, we're starting back here. Okay. Right up here, we have a very nice bunk over bunk. Okay. Double bed over double bed. USB right there, USB right there. And then notice the little uh, nook over there. Yeah. This, there's also storage underneath the bed. And then here, it flips up. Okay. And then you can access that door. Well, I freaking love this. Because of that door, Will, you're able to store stuff in here in transit. Dog crates, bikes, kayaks. Whatever you think can fit that might not fit in the bed of your truck can fit in here while you're driving down That's the road. Right. It's dry and it's secure. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Well, we're going to switch it all up today. Okay. Stay in, oh, man. Stay uh -huh. in that shower tub. It's a shower tub. Oh, not that bad. Oh, no. It's pretty bad. No, nah, I mean, not that bad. No, my head's touching. I can't even, like, fit my feet in sideways. You know, shower tubs never pass. But... It's okay. Well, right over here, we have a nice sink medicine cabinet. Okay. It's going to be a plastic toilet. Kind of like a shower tub, guys. It, it, it can't pass. Yep. Um, we're not giving it a prime poop position, but it really isn't, like, horrible. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Right here, we have a nice little sink. Okay. Okay. Lights and everything. Mirror medicine cabinet. And, oh! There you go. Guys, the absolute best in RV toilet treatment. It's called Liquefied. It's created by the Matt's RV Reviews team. Go to primepoopposition.com to pick up a bottle today. Okay. All right. And then, Will, show us this awesome kitchen. All right. We're mixing everything up. We sure are. So we'll start first. With the top first. Whoa. Right. What so the heck's going first. on here? We got to open this up if I can figure out how to. Uh, okay, so you push that. Yep. Push that. Flip it and twisty. reverse it. Yep. Yep. You sure for minutes when? Yeah. And then I guess it's this side that somehow. Oh, one more right here. Look at that. Oh, that feels so good too. Oh yeah. It's letting in some good air. Mmm. I love that because you can let in some extra good air, but also it just lets in natural light if you want it, or you can block it off if you want to sleep in in the morning. Nice. Yeah, I love that. Make sure you close that. I know, right? No, close it. You want me to do it now? Right now. It feels good. All right, keep it open. Okay. So you got storage up top here. Nice Jensen sound system right there. All right. Storage right here for your sink inserts, which we'll try to find them. No storage along the back, but you do have a nice uh, double bowl sink here with the faucet. You got a couple drawers All right here. Right. right there. And storage right here on the side. Right there. And then this. Psh, Marka John Cena. That's right. Whoops. Breaking it. Well, people want to know why we scream John Cena after America. That's from an episode that you and Jen filmed in Ohio. But why John Cena? Um there's nobody start? there is nobody more american than john oh Cena. is that what it is that's why not solid surface countertops a little bit of storage down here and then again with these countertops they're really trying to keep that weight down and the price point nice microwave range hood right there and a three burner magic chef cooktop with white lights mm. gray lights whatever it is storage right there or oven right there and then right next to that is the nice Furion compressor refrigerator. Very nice. You got that? It's on level, so. Wow. Really, really good size. It is. And then behind you is the pantry. Where? Right here. Would you look at that? So this is pantry space, but you could also use this for the bunk's sleeping area space. Very nice. Yep. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the, the MSRP. Okay, MSRP. MSRP on this unit here. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Okay. 50,803. MSRP. A done. Sale price, Jen, please eliminate that MSRP and show everybody what the sale price is of this unit. And Will, as great of a price as Jen just showed everybody, we can get everybody a better price than that. All you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. Links down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com by clicking RV sales help or you can call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us any way you can 
our team is here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. That's right. Yes, sir. All right, well, we're continuing on. Okay. We got a nice little dinette here. Nice. It drops down and makes a bed just like this. Right. Which is great. That's why I said this unit's so great for medium-sized families. Right, right. And then more storage here. Okay. Now, a dislike that we're going to tell you about in a little bit is how it's elevated like this. Yeah. Um, for big guys, big boy tested, big boy failed. Right. We're not good at this. <clears throat> you know, it just it just doesn't work it for doesn't. us. It doesn't. Right over there is the cable and satellite. Okay. Um, and then over here, well, is the sofa. All right. Now, this is a Murphy bed sofa. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It is what it is. It does a good job. Um, it's simple. It's nice. Well, I'm not going to lie. That thing is very nice. It is, it's, yeah. It's like I'm feeling like a nice cool breeze on my forehead. For sure. This, and then this, Jack knife's down to make a bed. Okay. Well, not to make a bed, but Jack knife's down. So, the so that bed you can, yeah. Can flip it and reverse it. Just like that, we have a bed. Just like that, we have a bed. Storage right here. Well, first, we got power and USB right there on that side. Nice little nightstand. Some closet space right there. Storage up top, all the way across. Do you know why I said that twice? No. Because Missy Elliott, when she says flip it and reverse uh, it, yeah. she says it twice. Yep. Just... <laughs> that just cracks me up. So, like, how does my brain work? I don't know. You know, right there we got storage and more storage there. And then, look at this. Love, love, love the front windshield. You right. know what I'm saying? Very fantastic unit at a fantastic price. And Will... Yeah. That's it. That's the review. Short and sweet. We did that in 11 minutes. Right. I'm going to talk about these balances and make the 11 minutes 12. No, okay. I'm just kidding. Um, Will, we're not going to take a long time if it doesn't require a long time. We're here for a good time, not a long time. That's right. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Did we have one outside? Yes. We did? Mm-hmm. What was? Oh, yeah. Dislike number one, Will. How did they not put the second uh, magnet right there? Right. You know what I'm saying? This is going to sound like everybody's saying, Matt, that's such a dumb dislike. Look look at this. When this hooks, this is going to be enough for the wind. Oh, yeah. It's going to smack you. Yep. Bam. Well, that's dislike number one. I know it sounds stupid, but you know what else is stupid? Trying to save a quarter on a magnet. Yep. That's dislike number one. What's dislike number two? That was dislike number one. Will, what's dislike number two? Dislike number two is this dinette being raised here. Yep. It's just not comfortable to get into. Um, just kind of in the way. I 100% hear you. It's big boy tested, big boy failed. Yep. It just doesn't work. And again, that's not like a dislike on this trailer. It's a dislike we have on this trailer. You right. know what I'm saying? Just being a little bit bigger. Yep. That's number two. And then, Will, what's number three? Number three. Dislike number three. Hmm. I can give you one. Okay. Um, dislike number three, Will. I'm going to say the jackknife. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it. It's I, not a big deal. It's not a like... huge deal. And again, it's it's one of those things where I like a jackknife. I just don't like this style of jackknife. Yeah. Personal opinion and preference. With that said, if I had a lighter weight tow vehicle and I needed something this big and spacious, I would totally live with that. For sure. That's three things we dislike about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Will, go first. Okay, I'm calling this. You called it. Yep, I love how it's a skylight, how it's a window, or you can totally close it off and get some darkness. Close it up? Well, don't yep. do it now. Okay. It's getting close enough. We can do it. Yes. Mm. Still some sawdust coming out. Oh man, we don't charge extra for that. Nope, not at all. That is like number one. Will, like number two, I'm gonna contradict myself. As much as I don't like this style of jackknife bed, I like how they're giving you jackknife bed in this unit. Right. Because again, it is so small, so this way you have a sofa, a dinette, sleeping area. And I'm gonna combo that with that awesome front windshield. I freaking love that, Will. It's my absolute favorite. Right. They knocked it out of the park. I agree. That's number two, and then Will, what's like number three? Like number three, 
See, has last to be. Time I did that though, but I guess do it, it again. Do it again. Okay. Do, will do it again. I love that. Flip it and reverse it. <laughs> I love how this flips up. I love how you have the door in there and just so much storage in here if you need it. And it's sure for Mr. Cool. win, yep. And sure for Mr. win, yep. <laughs> you know that's from the song, right? Of course, yeah. Okay. okay. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this coachman or any coachman, please go to generalrv.com slash Cash. Links down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com. Just click the RV sales help or you can call 844-969-4033. Will, reach out to us any way you can. We are here to help people get the absolute best price in America on this RV or any RV in existence. That's right. What say you? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And again, I love bringing these smaller travel trailers, especially like this where it's kind of family accessible. Yep. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely yes, everybody you. so much for watching. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.